What's going on guys and we are back here in Fallout 4. We're taking a look at another new little settlement trick I came up with. I was playing around with the logic switches and seeing what I could do trying to build something creative with it and I was actually able to build something I found may have some use in you know in your settlements whether it be for defense or who knows. Um, what we're about to see right here is I made a little countdown sequence that's going to display the numbers 3, 2, 1, and then turn off on this light box. So we just hit this switch here. Well, we got to turn it on. That's to turn it off. So there you go. 3, 2, 1. And I know it's very basic, but there could be plenty of different applications to this. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did this easiest way I think I could do that is just to lay out the circuit I did. It's not that complicated. I know it looks like a ton of wires, but it's not that bad. So starting off, let's take a look at where the power comes from, where it goes, how it splits up, and how exactly I get it to change from 3, 2, and 1. So power comes in as seen on the green wire. Now at the bottom of the screen, I have highlighted the manual switch. This is the switch I initially hit. Once I apply power to that switch, power then branches off in two directions. One to a delayed on switch, which is kind of off to the left. And the first direction we're actually going to look at is to the delayed off switch, which is off to the right. So power goes to the delayed off switch. It immediately turns on for one second and then the power turns off. So as it goes to the delayed off switch, it also goes to the pink logic gate, which is the and logic gate where to make that transmit power, all you need is for all inputs to be powered on. Now, since the only input is a delayed off switch, that logic gate will transmit power in the yellow wire to the light box, and it will, I set it up so it will make the number three. So again, real quick, power comes in, I turn on the manual switch, it goes off to the delayed off switch, which after one second, it will turn off, so, for one second, the delayed off switch transmits power to the AND logic gate, and the AND logic gate transmits power to the light box to create the number three. This will last for one second, and then the power of the number three turns off. And now we're taking a look at how the number two pops up on the light box. So from that manual switch, as we said before, the power also goes over to delayed on switch. After one second, the delayed on switch then transmits power itself, and that power gets split off into two directions. Once to another delayed on switch, which we will look at in the next part, and also to another delayed off switch. So you're basically repeating that same pattern from before. You have power going to a delayed off switch for one second, delayed off switch to the logic box, which is again the and logic box, and then logic box transmits power out to the light box. So after one second from our previous part of the circuit, where the number three displays, our delayed on switch will then turn on as the delayed off switch displaying the number three turns off. Delayed on switch goes to another delayed off switch, which will then transmit power again for one second. And the number two is now on the light box for again, one more second. And last up, we do this one more time to create the number one on the light box. So, Starting again, manual switch, delayed on, goes straight over, as you see here, to another delayed on switch. So now we're going to wait a full two seconds before this even transmits any power. Once that second delayed on switch turns on, it goes again to a delayed off switch to a logic box, which then transmits power for one second to the light box. This time we're, we're showing up the number one. So as you can kind of see the pattern here, what you really want to do is you always want to have the delayed off switch going right into the logic box. That, uh, that way, for one second, you will always display the number and then it will immediately pop off. So that way you can, you know, as I did here, it was just for three seconds. Um, if you keep this pattern going, you can go all the way up to five, whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be numbers. It could be you know, a picture moving or whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope I did a good job of explaining how this works. I only use this one logic switch. Obviously, there are a few more in the game, so there's plenty of more possibilities of different circuits and different types of sequences that you can build up. 
but this was a basic one something I came across it took me a while to figure this out but once I got the hang of it it's actually pretty straightforward pretty easy so I hope I got that across to you I hope it makes sense make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my little settlement tips and tricks for Fallout 4. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.